Hello Linux fans, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install the Brave browser and create a backup of your Brave browser session. Brave is currently one of the most popular web browsers in the world. It is used by millions because of its open source nature, increased privacy, and security features, as well as to improve website performance through its ad blocking and tracking prevention technology. I use Brave browser and it's good. As a Linux user, I need to try different Linux distributions for testing purposes. So I need to install the Brave browser every time, and set it up to get started on my work. Then I realized why not back up my Brave browser session. It will be a big time saver, and the hurdles will be reduced significantly to set it up properly. This is why I am making this video to demonstrate to you on how you can easily back up your Brave browser session and encrypt it to prevent unauthorized access. So that you can save time. In this video, I am going to use Ubuntu to demonstrate this tutorial, but you can do this backup process on any Linux distribution. As you are here in this video, you probably have Brave installed on your system. If not, then you need to install the Brave browser first. I am going to show you a step-by-step -step process to install the Brave browser on your Ubuntu system. You need to follow the commands one by one. I will put these commands in the video description. I will also include the official Brave Browser website link if you want to check that out. Let's install Brave Browser. First, use this command to install curl. You can now grab the GPG keyring using curl. Use this command to get the Brave Browser archive keyring. Now, use this command to add the Brave repository to your source list. Now, update your system. Finally, you can install Brave using this command. After installing the Brave browser, you can launch it from the Applications menu. As you have installed Brave browser, you can now do the backup process. Linux stores its app configuration files in the .config directory. The .config folder is located in the user's home directory. This directory is hidden by default meaning you cannot see it in the file manager. To see your hidden folders, press Ctrl H, or tap the Show Hidden Files from the hamburger menu of your file manager. Brave Browser is stored in this .config directory. In this video, I am going to show you both the GUI and terminal methods to backup your Brave Browser session and encrypt the backup file. Open up your file manager and show the hidden files using Ctrl-H or select the Show Hidden Files from the hamburger menu. Find the folder.config and open it. Now, look for the folder Brave Software and copy it. Paste the Brave Software folder into the directory you want. Now, you need to create an archive file of this folder. Right-click the Brave Software folder and select Compress. Enter the file name as Brave Browser Backup. Select .tar.exe as the compression file format, and click on Create. After that, you can delete the Brave software folder that you copied earlier. Now, let's see how we can do the same thing in the terminal. Open up your terminal and use the following command to access the .config directory. As you are now in the .config directory, use the ls command to see the contents of this directory. You can see the Brave software folder in the terminal window. Use this command to create a .tar.exe archive file. Wait for a moment to complete the process. After completing the process, move the archive file to the home directory using the mv command.
Now, if you go to your file manager, you will see the archive file in your home folder that you have just created. This is the unencrypted backup file of your Brave browser session. I will show you how you can encrypt your backup file at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. After successfully backing up your Brave browser, it's time to show you how you can restore it. You can restore the Brave browser using the file manager or the terminal. I will show you both. First, open up your file manager and extract the archive file. A new folder will appear called Brave Browser Backup. Open this folder and you will find the Brave Software folder. Copy this folder and go to the .config directory. Rename the Brave Software folder to Brave Software Old. If this folder does not exist, you can skip this step. Make sure the Brave browser is installed. Now paste the Brave software folder into the .config folder. Now, open up your Brave browser, and your session should be restored. If everything looks okay, delete the Brave software old that we renamed earlier. This GUI method is okay, but you can do this in the terminal a lot faster. Open up your terminal and copy the archive file to the .config folder using this command. Note that, I placed my backup file in the home directory. Now, go to the .config folder using this command. Type ls in the terminal to see if the Brave software folder exists or not. If the Brave software folder exists, use the following command to rename it. Otherwise, you can skip this step. Now, extract the archive file using this command. Wait for the extraction to be completed. After that, your Brave browser session is restored. You can now remove the backup file from the .config folder if you want to. Use this command to remove it. As you have learned how you can backup and restore your Brave browser session, it's now time to learn how you can encrypt and decrypt your backup. Encrypting your Brave browser backup is necessary if you have security reasons. To encrypt your backup file, follow these steps. Copy the backup archive file into your home directory using your file manager. If it is already in there, then you are good to go. Now, open up a terminal window and use this command. This command uses gpg to encrypt your backup file. A window will pop up asking you to enter your encryption password. Confirm your password, and the encryption process will start. Wait for the process to be completed. You can now delete the unencrypted archive file if you want. Your backup file is now encrypted. As you have encrypted your backup file, you cannot use this encrypted backup file without decrypting it first. To decrypt your backup file, follow these steps. Copy the encrypted archive file to your home directory. If it's already there, you are good to go. Now, open up a terminal window and use this command. Remember, GPG can save your encryption key in the keyring. If you try to decrypt your file on the same system, it may not ask for your encryption password. But, on a new system, it will ask you to enter your encryption password. Confirm your password, and the decryption process will start. After that, you will see the archive file in your home directory. Use this file to restore your Brave browser session. There you have it. I hope you find this video helpful. You can now securely take backups of your Brave browser session and restore it whenever you want. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more Linux tutorials. You can also check my articles on bestlinuxdistro.com. Thanks for watching.